Good afternoon, everyone. Um... The entire world stands with Ukraine, uh, just as I am standing here in Ukraine with my friend, my colleague, Dmitry Kuleva, the foreign minister uh, of Ukraine. Um, we've seen an extraordinary surge in uh, support from around the world against Russia's aggression, against Russia's war of choice, against uh, what is happening every single day, every single minute uh, in Ukraine to civilians throughout the country as a result of this aggression, but also extraordinary support uh, for Ukraine itself. And as to the pressure on Russia, not only is it unprecedented, not only is it producing uh, very, very concrete results in Russia, but that uh, pressure too will not, will not only continue, it will grow until this war this war of choice is brought to an end. Well, first of all, I would like to thank Tony for coming here to Ukraine. Literally, we just crossed the line and uh, we are standing here. Uh, I hope the people of Ukraine will be able to, uh, to see this as a clear manifestation that we have friends who literally stay, stand by us. Uh, thank you for your leadership in consolidating international uh, community uh, in support of Ukraine. Uh, we had meaningful discussions about weapons, about sanctions, about isolation of Russia on the international arena. And the message that I have to convey, that I would like to convey now, is very simple. Ukraine will win this war anyway. Because this is the people's war for their land, and we defend the right cause. The question is the price, the price of our victory. And if our partners continue to take bold, systemic decisions to step up economic and political pressure on Ukraine, if they continue to provide us with necessary weapons, the price will be lower.